My name's Eve Sussman, and I'm an artist and a filmmaker, and I'm doing a project with snark.art. About 15 years ago, I created a video work called 89 Seconds at Alcazar that was inspired by Las Meninas, the Velázquez painting in the Prado. When I created the piece, what I really wanted was sort of to be a fly on the wall in, in the salon in the Alcazar where Velázquez painted Las Meninas. And so that meant having to actually rebuild that room, to, to create the room to scale, to study the architecture, to find these scholarly art historical documents that actually showed you the floor plan of the palace and where people might have been in the space. And, and then to actually figure out how a camera could be a fly on the wall and circumnavigate that room. 89 Seconds at Alcazar has toured all over the world. It's in museum collections in different countries. Um, and it's, it's been shown a lot. And at some point, I sort of thought, oh, well, the piece has perhaps been shown enough. Maybe, maybe this is it now. We can put that piece to bed. And then Michel Andre from snark.art came to me and said, do you want to propose something? And it suddenly dawned on me that what made sense to propose was a reimagining, a re-envisioning of 89 Seconds at Alcazar into what we're calling 89 Seconds Atomized. And so we're actually shattering the piece into over 2,000 pieces, blocks, 20 pixels by 20 pixels, and creating a version of it that can be acquired by up to 2,304 people and be kind of a, almost a community artwork. Video makers for a long time have worked in the tradition of photographers and printmakers in that they editioned their work. And that was a way partly to make a living, that if you made a limited edition and you sold it as a limited edition, you could potentially make a living from selling those limited pieces. The problem was that they were limited. And, and that is often something people complain about. You know, How do I get to see it? Where is it? How come I can't own it too? Um, how come it's sold out? So making a 89 seconds atomized, a blockchain artwork from my original piece, 89 Seconds at Alcazar, is a chance to turn the piece into something that is owned by a community. So it's a whole new way of thinking about how a limited edition can be acquired and what can happen with it and what kind of life it can have. The creation of 89 Seconds at Alcazar was about kind of trying to go deeper into the frame. Like, can I actually step into that room and be a fly on the wall in the room? And then can the camera fly around that room? And now the creation of 89 Seconds atomized is sort of taking yet another step deeper. Instead of stepping deeper into the room, we're sort of stepping deeper into the pixels. We're stepping deeper into the uh, structure and the foundation of what makes the piece run. And so that, to me, is kind of an extension of what was going on when we originally created the piece, which is how do you get further inside it? How do you get inside the picture? Because I was one of those kids that always took stuff apart and couldn't necessarily always put it back together. But with blockchain, I'm actually guaranteed that it can get put back together. The responsibility of having to get put back together is suddenly not on my shoulders anymore. And so even in this studio, you can see how there's a lot of stuff I've taken apart. And um, you know, I always think, I'm going to get back to putting it back together. And then somehow you never get around to it. And so there's sort of this relief that, oh, I can shatter this thing apart, and it'll miraculously get reassembled because of the power of the blockchain and because of the power of the community that own it. And they will take responsibility, or I hope they will. That's the experiment. But I'm excited to see if that experiment's going to work.